Greetings, Pokéfans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Ultra Sun! Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokémon games. If you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed the last episode, make sure you go check that out. You're probably going to want to know how the heck we got here, <laughs> and what the heck is going on. Um, also, Jubilee, it's still Sunday. Jubilee was with me the last several episodes, but she is not with me this episode to, you know avoid spoilers and so forth you know she went back and forth like should i be here no i need to leave last episode so she's just she's not gonna be here for this one just to make it easier um we're gonna walk around this super cool place those are spiky walls can't go there um this is super cool i wonder if these barriers will be gone if i come back here like after the story So will you truly go? Our Ultra Megapolis was once a world filled with light. Necrozma was called the Blinding One, and it gave us all the energy. Oh, so Necrozma is the Blinding One. In fact, we're not the only ones who basked in its light. It traveled even to the distant world of Alola by passing through the Ultra Wormholes. But our ancestors grew too greedy, and they caused Necrozma to lose a part of its body. And this in turn made Necrozma run wild. Help it if you can, we beg you. Interesting. Let this 11-year-old child handle this very terrible, terrifying thing. Megalo Tower. This camera's intense. Oh boy. What's going on? Here's this cutscene. What's going on? What? Whoa! Oh! That just come out of its head? What is going on? What? 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 What triggered that? Oh my god, okay, um... Okay, uh, Psychic type. Definitely still a Psychic type. Is it still Psychic Steel? I think the rock is the best lead. What do you, what do you have? What do you... Incinium Z, what do you have? Quick Claw? Yeah, you probably still need that. What do you have? Soft Sand? Ooh, I have the Dragon EMZ. I'm like, I want to give, like, everybody a Z-move if they have, like, a Stab one. Well... Oh wait, Psychic type. Ooh, I'm giving Vikavolt the bug in EMZ. I'm giving everybody a Z move. Or should I? Actually, I think I should keep the Quick Claw on it because he's not gonna outspeed. So maybe the Quick Claw can make it so he outspeeds. Maybe Bug Buzz will be enough. Without the bug move? Actually, yeah, I think I need to give the quick claw back to him. Okay. Well, this is, uh, clearly terrifying. I... Are we gonna... Is this where we try and catch it, or what? My god, this thing is massive. Holy crap. Lie, lie, light. Okay. Oh my god. Those eyes are... It looks a lot cooler than regular Necrozma. Okay, of course it has an aura, because everything in this game does. <laughs> Except my own totem Pokemon. You know what, I think right off the bat, we should try and... <laughs> the thing covers up its face! That's annoying! I think right off the bat, we should try and Incinium Z this thing. Oh no. Oh god. Well, that sucks. That's super effective against three of my team members. Wow. 
Well, I guess I should hope my Quick Claw activates and I can get off a of Bug Buzz. Oh, it actually activates! <laughs> It doesn't even do half? Dragon Pulse? Well, that's not good for Garchomp. Oh my god, that one shot. Okay, let's go Tex. Should try and poison it. Oh, this is that new move, right? Oh my god, that probably knocked it out four times. I think we're gonna lose, guys. I don't- I like don't know what to do. It's got a super effective move for every single member of my team. And it's way too fast. Maybe Sahara will outspeed? Maybe? Nope. Alright, well, this sucks. This thing's impossible. No wonder Jubilee was talking about how hard this thing was. Guess we'll just go for Ice Beam. Yeah, I think that's still gonna be do more than Hex. Smarts got a four times super effective move on this Pokemon. Like, it has Power Gem, but Smart Strike? Well, this sucks. We we just, we're gonna lose to this thing. Like, there's no point in me max reviving. It outspeeds my entire team. The only time I was able to get a hit is when Quick Claw activated. It outspeeds my entire team. Maybe it doesn't outspeed him, but, like, there's no way this KOs. Yeah, holy crap. This sucks. We just lost to this thing. It outspeeds my entire team and has a super effective move for my entire team. Wow. That sucked. Screw this game. Okay, we're back. So, um... Clearly, this is probably one of the most difficult battles in a main series Pokemon game ever. Um, however, I think... So, Jubilee has defeated it. After like 10 or 12 tries, we together, off camera, devised a strategy that worked. Um, I've taken the proper preparations to do it. Um, we used Incineroar, so I know it can work on me too, because I have an Incineroar. So we're going to try this strategy on me, and hopefully nothing goes horribly wrong, such as a stray critical hit. And we can we can beat this thing, because there's no way, like, this, I'd have to, like, grind my Pokemon up, like, ten more levels in order to do this. Without this strategy. <laughs> yeah, because, holy crap, like, well, why is this so hard? <laughs> one thing that I would mention is... My first thought was, oh, I'll just go catch a legendary. But as you guys, I don't know, did they? Did you I didn't show me? that on camera. So no. just so you know, uh, you can catch all the legendaries and Pokemon you want as long as you don't go through the white wormhole. But as soon as you go through the white wormhole, they'll just teleport you they back won't here. Let you yeah, I didn't to have to do Pokemon the anymore. stupid motion control thing again. Yeah. Okay, so the first part of our strategy is to use a times special defense. Okay. So this way I can survive the power gem hits. Okay. And then the idea is I potion up until he either runs out of power gem PP or my affection causes me to dodge one. I use Dragon Pulse this time. Well, unfortunately, 
I still have to heal. Um, because I don't survive a, a power gem from this range. But the idea is, we go until he either runs out of power gem PP, or he misses. If he misses, I use a second time special defense, so that power gem becomes a three hit KO. And that gives me a chance to Incinium Z, and then Darkest Lariat. So how many potions did you buy? Like, I think I had like five, so I bought like 25. Because, like, Power Gem has, like, 20 PP, so, like, I need at least that many. <laughs> right. So, this is, a. Uh... Yeah, I have 27 left. I just can't believe they, they put a battle this difficult in the game, though. Like, this is insane. <laughs> yeah, it really is. The fact that one Pokemon, like, I don't know, what are, what are its base stats? Like, they've got to be through the roof. And the fact that it has an Omni Boost as well is like, that's stupid powerful. Like this thing is currently more powerful than like a Mega Rayquaza, Mega Mewtwo Y, Mega Mewtwo X because it has an Omni Boost. Yeah. The only scary thing about this strategy is that if there is one critical hit, it goes out the window. Yeah. So we're constantly worried about that. Hopefully you, you know, it's all about luck, so I mean, you could, it could miss, it could not, and the more turns you have to survive, the more, you know, it becomes possible that a crit could happen. Just really like an affection dodge. Although I have speculated that maybe it can't crit. Maybe they were like, that makes it too OP if it can crit, and just like, turned it off. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know if they would do that, but it seems possible. Because literally nothing on this universe could survive a crit from this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, nothing that's, like, lower level than it. Okay, yeah, that's true. Like, level 100 something. Hey, crit. Okay, they can crit. God damn it! How many? I'm so pissed off! Mikey, Mikey. Mikey. I hate this bull! How many bull! defenses did you buy? I are I had Special only two. Defenses. You just kept the two? Yeah. Mickey. Now I just have to lose again and go back and get more crap. I you hate this game. Reset. I didn't save between buying the stuff and coming back here. Holy crap. Bike Volt is now my favorite Pokemon of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what just happened? He affection dodged the power gem and then crit with Bug Buzz. That's pretty. That was the most incredible thing. I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> I'm just so floored right now. Yeah, that... And I feel really bad for getting so mad. <laughs> he just didn't want you to cry, Mikey. No, I'm, like, legitimately serious. I think Vikavolt just surpassed Sept... It might have just surpassed Septile as my favorite Pokemon he of all time. I didn't want you to cry, Mikey! I wasn't gonna cry, I was just gonna, you know, continue to be mad. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm just, can we just take a moment? <laughs> like, the insane amount of bad luck for a crit to like happen, you know? And yeah. like, I didn't get an affection dodge prior to that. To then affection dodging it and critting in the same time. Like, I'm just- Oh, he, w he one shot it with full health, right? Yeah, cause he yeah. crit, yeah. meaning it ignore it's 1.5 times damage and ignored the Omni Boost to its special defense. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's like, 
Vike Volt is actually crazy. I think Vike Volt's my favorite Pokemon. That this the is this is, is like, two Alola playthroughs in a row that my Vike Volt has had an insanely clutch win in a battle. Yeah, that was actually. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just. That might have been even more clutch than the last one. Are we talking about that last? When first? you survive with one HP, yeah, yeah, and, yeah against yeah. the Lorantis, yeah, that I was. I think that was the most clutch thing that could have ever happened because I feel like critical hits are like not very likely. Yeah. Or affection dodges, because we saw how yeah. many happened with Incineroar, they didn't dodge. To, for both of those to happen at the same time is actually, like, Oh insane. my god. Do you know where Lima lives, by the way? <laughs> it's in the mansion on, like, the west side of How Oldly. <laughs> nice subject change. But now, Necrozma has lost its light once more and appears to have fled to Alola. And your Sogalia, weakened as it was, has also returned to your world. I am most grateful for all you have done, human from the world of Alola. Why is it po Poipole's creating a fuss for Captain Fico? I believe that Poipole is showing an interest in this person. Ah, now we know how we get it. Seems to want to stay together with him. This Poipole that I've never spoken to wants to join my party, and that stupid Vulpix, after all I did for it. <laughs> <laughs> a little salty about that one. Yeah. I mean, I love the one I have, but I was like, all that work on that Vulpix, and I didn't get it. Yeah, that was. I'm really like. Weird. I need water. I'm lightheaded after this entire ordeal. Because we spent, like, hours, you know, like, just, like, how do we beat this thing? We kind don't know how to strategy, beat this thing. And yeah. it was, like, we figured out the strategy, used it on her game, and it was, like, and it worked. Yeah. And I was, like, okay, you know, I got this. I can do this. And then that just, like, it failing was so frustrating. I was worried because I was, like, I had I had attempted to, to fight this thing many times and, like, the affection, like, living at 1 HP is just really uncommon. Like, so... Scoot over a bit. I think you're a bit off frame. Oh, not only that, but also the, the dodging. Like, where it goes, like, he dodged because, you know, he heard your shout. That just, like, is really uncommon. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, I just got lucky and it happened right away when I started the battle. But I was worried that you were not going to have as good of luck as me because I knew yeah. that that was just pure luck that it yeah. happened as fast as it did. So one thing that I just noticed, and this is something that by the time you guys are seeing it, everybody and their dog knows about this. But considering this is like still like six days before release that I'm filming this, why is there a second Pokeball? <laughs> Does this thing evolve? I was thinking, okay, I saw that and I was like, maybe it has a counterpart. Right. Oh, yeah. I feel like they would have shown it if it had a counterpart. Either it evolves or it has a counterpart. Like, another another Ultra Beast will show up there. Maybe, like, the one that's the big house-looking thing. This Ultra Beast is well enough liked to be chosen as a first partner in its own world. I was thinking... Uh, sure. We will name you, um... Stabby. I named mine Poppy because I think poppies are poisonous. And also... Poi pole poppy kind of sounds similar. Okay, Alima's not here, so where is Alima? What, you have to find him? Oh. I thought he would be at Verdant Cavern, but then I went there and I... I can choose between Lunala and Sogalio? Let's do Sogalio. I did Lunala already. Because... Oh, you can choose which one you ride from now on. Yeah. They let you pick. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're not going to show me doing it. Greetings, Pokefans. I just walked out of this inappropriate-looking glowing hole. <laughs> and just had the freaking battle of my life. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Impressive human of Alola. Thank you so much. See, I knew they weren't bad guys. Well, you were battling Necrozma on our Ultra Megapo Megalopolis. I keep wanting to say Megapolis, but that's cutting out a syllable. We were able to make some discoveries about the auras here in Alola. The auras of Alola came from Necrozma. They're the remnants of the light it emitted long ago. These auras have must have been particularly strong at the trial locations, and the Z power for the Z moves is also similar to the auras of the totem Pokemon. Both came to Alola as Necrozma's light. You are such a powerful trainer. Maybe you can return the light to Necrozma without having it run wild. As a sign of thanks, we'll continue to share our Lunala with you. Use the Ultra Warp Ride to explore many new and different worlds. No doubt you will find an amazing Pokemon. I think we will stay in Alola for a while. It is practically overflowing with Z-Power. 
It'd be good for us to really experience life here. Maybe even do our own island challenge. Oh, oh! I want to become friends with Diglett. <laughs> so say, you're funny. Are they gonna like put regular clothes on, or do they still have to wear those because their bodies aren't used to this environment? They're Michael, still gonna wear those. Lily, it seems that you were right. Right to feel hurt by the suffering of Pokemon. Right to take Cosmog away. Oh wow, admitting she was right. When really did everything was Michael, not me. That is true. I did do pretty much everything. Yeah, you, did. <laughs> you should take these beast balls. Put out your hand. Only three. Thank you. Ultra Recon squads help to capture Ultra Beasts. I know you can trust leaving them in the hands of a trainer like you. With its light stolen from it, Cosmog is. No. Solgaleo is weak. We will take it back to Paradise to care for it. Lily, you will help also. Such a different ending to this. Yeah. Well, it's not really over because the credits don't roll. True, true, true. So it's not even like the ending yet. Maybe when you bring out the best in others, it helps you find the best in yourself, too, huh? A change of heart through the events. Uh, Michael, I know I couldn't do anything to really help, but I was always on your side. You and your Pokemon side. I got the chance to finally talk with my mother on a lot of things, really. I think I understand a little better now. Michael, you saved Necrozma and the people of that world. And all of us, too. You gave us the chance to smile again. I want to go back to paradise for a bit to help Nevi recover, but... Michael, do your best on your island challenge! This is... W the most drastic change in regards to characterization is Lusamine. Lusamine went from this maniac who's like, I will unleash the Ultra Beasts everywhere! Try to stop me! You can't! You suck! To now instead, like, I will save this country myself! I'll do it myself! Gets the crap beat out of her. I was so wrong. <laughs> like, I was so wrong. Oh, thank God this turned out all right. Come on, Lily. Like, we're, we're, we're friends again, you know? Like, she actually, like, seems to be getting along with Lily rather than just, like, Lily, you're so beautiful. Passes out because of poison. <laughs> <laughs> Mina, hey, you missed a lot of the fun. Fun being the operative word. I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark. And the entire continent went dark. <laughs> Guess you took care of all that, huh? I'm not going to let you take all the good parts. I'm a captain too, you know, so why don't you see if you can beat my trial? You're ready to try? Just come by my house. It's in Seafolk Village. Or, yeah, I guess you could come with me. I don't know if you want to go together. I do. All right. I just said I do to this woman on this altar, which means me and Mina are now married. Yep. Cool. I don't have to start the trial right now, right? They're going to give me a chance to say no? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I recorded so many episodes today, and I think I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> oh my god. Most stressful thing in my life was that I'm it was I, stressful I, for me. I'm too. very sorry for yelling. I really am. <laughs> At least I was so frustrated and then like all of a sudden just like, wait, what's happening? Oh my god, I just one shot it. Those of you who've watched my content and streams for a while know I get very frustrated at video games, and Jubilee is the greatest person on the planet for tolerating that regardless. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you too. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Well, or maybe today. I don't know the schedule. I will start filming again tomorrow when the, uh, <laughs> when Jubilee will be at work. But we'll do this. <laughs> Stop doing that. Sure we'll do this. We'll do this, uh, this freaking fairy trial. I wonder if there's a totem Pokemon. And then, and then continue playing, probably, because that's, like, my top priority is to keep playing this game until I beat it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the most insane battle I've ever had. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question down below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all!